Hey guys, so I discovered my good camera finally. I had it hidden behind the seat in my truck. I didn't even know it. Uh, so I'm doing a little more work on this thing today. Um, I put uh, put one of the pieces of trim back in the truck so I got this fabric at least held up there so it doesn't look so terribly, awfully ugly. Um, this is kind of like the Frankenstein monster stereo here because, I, you know, I got the two these two tens here stacked up and then I got this other one behind me here down there in the transmission line box which has been reduced it's only about a half a transmission line now but it's still it's crazy um, so somehow this Jensen power 900 amp is still alive it gets mighty mighty hit warm <laughs> when you're pounding it so today I'm gonna do a little experiment take this old computer cooling fan and I'm gonna mount it in the lid on this thing maybe I'll mount it on one side and cut a hole on the other side or something like that so that it can suck the air out of one way and maybe I'll mount it in the middle and cut holes out here on both ends or something along you know along this area so that the air can draw through and out or something to that effect well, I gotta do something to cool this thing for now because I ain't got any money to buy a good amp at the moment so I'm gonna give this a shot I don't know if 14 volts is gonna fry this thing out when the trucks running or not I guess I'll find out uh, soon enough so I'm gonna pull this plate off of here Get a little bit set here sit here might not be a very good picture but at least you're along for the ride for a second yeah I'm leaving it all hooked up and plugged in and everything because I'm just stupid and crazy like that I don't care I'm not gonna get electrocuted I'm not gonna get hurt it's 12 volts as long as you don't touch A to B, you're good. You touch A to B, things start to fry. So, don't do that. Hey, don't do that. Like that, alright? Alright, let's see how easy this is going to be here. Yeah, so I want to do a little update video here for a couple buddies. Uh, I got all this stuff pretty well shored up now, at least with the three subs, until I get the, the fourth sub and build the box that I want. But I did a little modification here, so I guess it's no longer a Jensen or Audio Vox amp. It's now a Morphodite or a Frankenstein or something like that. Um, I, as you can see, I mounted a computer fan to the top of it. I'm probably going to fashion up some kind of plates out of the old plate, maybe, that goes across here part way at least to make it draw the air out of the box. It actually is working better than I thought though because I mounted it on this angled as you can see I got an angled piece of wood here that I got it mounted on and then I got it surrounded uh, around on three sides with foam so that it can't rattle against the boxes or anything like that because I got the foam under it. Of course I got the big heavy cables and stuff still. I guess those are two gauge but it's stupid huge. It works great so yeah it's retarded loud I ha actually I had the amp mounted to the top of the box for like five minutes but I went for a little ride and I noticed that the amp was going to vibrate off the top of the box and I thought no that's probably not a good idea because this is an old cheap amp anyways so it probably rattle all the solder joints loose but look at how heavy the solder is in this old amp I mean it is just a beastly old thing and it's pounding these three subs like no tomorrow so I guess I'll just keep it for a while I'm pretty happy with it at the moment um, of course if I want to do some kind of competition type of stuff with these subs in a different car in a bigger box I'll probably get like a 1500 watt amp but I would say this is probably putting out close to 600 watts I got I measured it I got it at 1.5 ohms with three four ohm subs so at two ohms it puts out 450 RMS so I'm guessing like 600 um, yeah, and I of course I got this. I got a little piece of trim that I was behind the seat originally. I took that and mounted that onto the piece of fabric that I had covering all the foam and spray foam that I've got back there, so it doesn't look so terribly bad in here. Of course, it's not the prettiest thing I ever seen. Uh, it's quite the Frankenstein's monster. But I'm telling you what, this thing jams. It is so loud in here. Um, anyways. Um, one of these days I'm going to figure out how to get an SPL maybe somebody that watches my videos can tell me how I can get an SPL meter or something to plug into my laptop or my uh, Android or something like that so I can tell how much SPL I'm getting in here so I can tune and play with that and keep getting louder 
but yeah so I got a board now I got my amp mounted I got a fan on the amp the way it's sitting here on this board at this angle when I'm driving down the road with the windows open it really gets a lot of air and it cools the top half of the amp actually stays cold driving down the road and the bottom half where the power supplies are at it actually gets pretty warm but it's working pretty good because it transfers the heat up to the top and then it's that fan is actually blows warm air I'll just kick it on here for a second so you can see the, the fan actually blows warm air see there she goes blows warm air out of the amp all the time it's a nice little funnel of warm air so it does do the job it does what it's supposed to do uh, it's coming up and you know and all that good jazz so I'm pretty happy with it to this at this point so anyways uh, there, there's my daily dose shakes like if I put stuff on my dash it'll bounce it off the dash into my hand it'll bounce stuff out of this cup holder or this little holder up here it's knocked this remote from my garage door out about five times I suppose I'll have to get a piece of velcro velcro that in so there I'll put a couple videos together and this is probably going to be kind of a long one for today but a little more work you know I'm just like that I just obsess on stuff I do work and work and work and work at it until it gets better and better and better and and once I get four in here or in wherever I'm get, might just put four in here what the heck might put four on this amp at one ohm and see what it does to it I might have to have three fans on it to cool it but if it keeps working who cares run it till she blows up right all right have a good day boys I'm out of here I'm going in the house to do some laundry looks like it's about to get nasty outside it's looking pretty dark up there in the sky so check you later